Hello everyone, you're Eve Wind here, back with episode 2 of Enslay. A questionable decision on my part, considering I currently have a cold and my voice is all messed up. But when I have a cold and my voice is messed up and I can't work on videos because of that, it gets me all antsy. So, uh, figured I'd play some of this wonderful game. Uh, oh, I don't want to waste that. Uh, and I can't stress... I don't remember when I got that. Wait a minute, do I have two of these? Oh, and I and I have an Astro Sword. <laughs> I'm, I've. This game has a lot of content, I should say, f first out of the gate. Uh, and don't worry, I'm not going to be spoiling anything. In fact, I've only, a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I've only finished one of the main dungeons. Uh, that being the first one. Uh, other than that, I've done a ton of exploring. How do I unzoom this again? Can I not unzoom any more than this? I have the locations of where I'm supposed to go next. I don't know in which order I will be going to them. But uh, other than that, I've just I've really been dicking around exploring this uh, really wonderful Zelda game. Uh, I don't know some people think, oh, it's not that great. It's, it's, it's shitty because Nintendo, they just stole ideas from other companies. To which I say, <clears throat> this being sick thing is going to get irritating as the video progresses. But, you know... Who's to even say which were the developers that... I didn't do it. Like, what was the first game that introduced, you know, being able to equip all your armor or encumbrance or being an action game? How do I parry again? I parry so little. There we go. There we go. Okay. I'll try for that some more. Oh, also. Just, uh... Get rid of that. Uh, so instead of doing the story, which I think I completely forgot what the last part I was talking about. Actually, before I say anything like that about that, you can tell this is end slate because I'm rambling like there's no tomorrow. But, um... Oh, also, if you hear a small buzz, I'm sorry. There's a... I'm having a slight technical issue. Um... I almost hit the new computer goal on uh, Patreon for last um, uh, last month, which would have let me get the new computer, and I would have uh, I wouldn't have the issue that I have with the buzzing. And trying to get around it is irritating, so I don't bother if I don't have to. I haven't played this in a week because of Persona, so please excuse me. Fine, tease me. Now where do I want to go? Actually, I think I will... Let's go get some air. Can never have enough. Uh, but I, I guess first or 30th, depending on if anyone's counting. <clears throat> and also, again, I apologize about the voice. Um, I, I think I'm about 50 hours in, if not more than that. I've spent most of my time dicking around, not following the main story whatsoever. Um, I have the Master Sword because 
I filled their requirements to obtain the Master Sword. And, uh, by the way, if any of you have seen that really sick video of, um, someone, I guess, speed running to the, um, Master Sword inside the Lost Woods, uh, that's, that's fucking insane. People are using, um, stasis and mag magnetism, right? Mag Magnesis, stasis. Yeah. People are doing fucking crazy shit with that stuff. Which is why I foresee Breath of the Wild Let's Play, or not Let's Plays, not Let's Plays, not Let's Plays. Um, Breath of the Wild, there's some place I can cook. Of course not. Um, qu quick runs. Well, I'm fucking stupid while I'm tired. Speed runs. <laughs> quick runs. <laughs> you guys like my set quick quick spin runs? It's quick. I'm gonna just. Yeah. Uh. Who the hell are you again? <laughs> I've only done this once with uh, the color purple. Have a ball. <laughs> Yay. Sorry, lad, gotta go. Um, I guess I should say, you know, get this worm out of the bag, because I'm sure everyone's wondering. Uh, which version of Breath of the Wild am I playing? I am playing the Wii U version, because I can't justify buying a new Nintendo console, like, right around the time you do taxes... It's just, I don't know. It's that it's such a bad time for a console. Re I mean, not necessarily a bad time for a console release. I think actually them releasing it this early is a, a, a very interesting move. And if over the following year they can establish themselves. Already fucking forget. There we go. Oh, fuck you both. And I have to say, uh, the Wii U version, uh, yeah, in spots, it's definitely a little worse than than what you would see on the 
on the not Wii U version. But it's fucking an incredible looking game. Um, you, you can tell it's pushing the system to its roots. Uh, and it's also, uh, at least from my perspective, this seems like the kind of game that I'm definitely going to want to play again. Like, I could say that with a lot of certainty. You better not have run away! I suck at hunting. Although, I, I think I'm good on meals. They've also added all these like micro RPG elements, um, like I don't know, different armor has different effects, and did that say sit or take? I'll take you. Uh, the game doesn't u make use of any, well, not many weird motion gimmicks. There are a few for some of the puzzles that I, uh, I think I technically cheesed and didn't do them correctly, but, you know, what do you want from me? Uh, if anyone's wondering what, which version to get. Um, I think that depends on how long you can hold off. I think in the long run, the Switch version will probably be the best. Maybe Nintendo will patch out the small kinks it has that it really shouldn't have, even though it's it was originally developed from the ground up for the Wii U. Um, so I don't really know how much they can do. But if you can't wait and you do have a Wii U, I definitely recommend picking it up. Um, it's just... I don't know. There, there's just something addicting about wandering around, constantly getting new weapons because your stuff breaks. And, you know, that's annoying at first. But you get used to it. And the the game system starts to make more sense. At some point, you... I did not get arrows at that shop. Damn it. Uh, you get used to it. And honestly, it's it's not that big of a deal, in my opinion. Now, if the armor degraded, that I'd be pissed about. Because you can upgrade the armor, and if I got... If my armor degraded and I lost that, then I'd be pissed. But to my knowledge, I don't think you can upgrade the weapons. But enemies are always going to respond at some point or another, so you can just kill them and take their weapon again. What the fuck direction am I going? I should look for a uh, mini dungeon tower thing. Uh, as technical terminology. Oh, um, while this is loading, something I wanted to ask, assuming anyone is still here besides me. I got way more positive feedback on the idea 
of uh, an end slate in the series where I ramble over video games while playing the video games badly because I'm talking while playing the video game. Oh, lag. Hi, Gannon. Um, I got a lot of positive feedback, which, like, it is great, but I, I, do I deserve it? Like, I, I don't know. I, in my eyes at least, I don't think I did anything particularly spiffy or uh, special. Um, I didn't even think the video was particular, yeah, particularly good. In fact, it had, a, it had a lot of people wondering, well, what's different about this from a regular Let's Play? And, uh, if I haven't said it already in this video, uh, you may have perhaps noticed I'm not playing Super Mario 64 right now. Wait, you ever reach this land of thunder, I present you as a try- You know, I- no. When the four spirits have been settled in their proper places, it- Look, I'm- okay. I assume this is some story thing for later, but it, I've only done one of. I can't climb because. Oh, never mind. But I can't do that because I've only completed one of them. Need a different weapon before I'm blown up. Elements like that where lightning... Oh, is that a shrine up there? I must get to it. Like during a thunderstorm. I also like the weather report down at the bottom of the screen. That's also very awesome. Um, uh, you're not a... Fuck you. Get my hopes up. There's just so many things about this game that I like that, you know, even though Nintendo didn't necessarily break the mold, like, look, we added, you know, a revolutionary things to our video game, such as degrading equipment, the kids will love it. or uh, cooking or crafting type stuff. They didn't invent any of that. But when I thought about that, all I could think about was these rocks over here that, oh wait, yeah, these rocks over here that I don't think are part of this mountain thing. Hold on a sec. Uh, but all I could think about was, okay, yeah, sure. A lot of these ideas that Nintendo implemented aren't necessarily original ideas that we've never seen before however how many developers have straight up jacked like what nintendo has done uh what there's gonna be a little guy under here yes i did i hope i can get oh that's also a nice touch. I'll, I'm going to do it again for an instant replay. Hold on a sec. Oh, alright. <laughs> uh, never not funny. Um, and of course that caused me to completely lose my train of thought. 
I wonder if I could technically climb these because they're covered up. Nope. Uh. Yeah, no. Do I still safe stuff? So quick, good. No, you. I don't. No, shut up. You don't have a horse. I've completely ignored horses in this game. I just like running around on foot, exploring. I'm gonna get myself prettied up. You're a dick. I saw what you did and I'm going to tell everyone. Fuck. Oh, shit. There's more than one of them. Look, you cocksuckers. I'm doing important stuff. You know what? Bye. You know what? You know what? What's this? I'll take it. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna bet down here. This whole episode is just gonna be ex me exploring and talking like an idiot. I'm giving the people what they want. But yeah, what, why did anyone like this segment? I couldn't figure it out. I kept trying to. Uh, assuming the segment continues to be not hated. Uh, what the hell is that? Why the music change? Oh, what I find? You know what? Let's say I don't trust this. Also, you can save almost anywhere, which is that's always great. Oh, little uh, puzzle. Let's see. Oh, so th this will be fun because it's a color puzzle. I hate you guys. For anyone who doesn't know, I'm colorblind with red and blue and green colors. And, uh, I think this is purple. Oh, wait. I can get this. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, shit. 
shit. You guys are violent, man. Continue on my journey for a little tiny dungeon thing. Oh, that's the one. Trying to hide from me, and yet you can't. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Also, this game is full of shiny things to collect. Which is one of the main reasons I haven't finished either of the currently released Xenoblade games and probably never will. I'm hoping I can slip into an area here that doesn't have rain. There we go. See, now the world is my oyster. You guys are all fuckheads. The world was my oyster and you took it away from me. Trying to recover a little salmon out here. Gotta do this optimal. I gotta mess up my sentence. Uh, but something I decided I wanted to do on this segment, at, you know, because. It's really just you and me here. Uh, is ask how you, the viewer, are doing. Um, on Twitter, that's kind of... Oh, God. Yeah, I think I got this. Anyways, um, how are you doing? What games are you playing? Are you playing Breath of the Wild or Persona 5? You should be. They're both amazing. 
before Persona 5 came out, I played nothing but this. And after Persona 5 came out, I played nothing but Persona 5. Um, and I, honestly, both games are fucking incredible. You know, I heard um, Horizon turned out pretty good. Uh, I've heard mixed things about ukulele. I don't... I'm not gonna go into that whole situation. Um, but it'll probably sell well because of the people who made it. Maybe. I, I don't know. Um, send me a copy for free. I'll, t I'll talk about it. I'll give my, my raw thoughts. It's a video game. My Oh There's got to be a shrine up here My cat is sure of it Hold on, I need to stand up for a second and open my door. Yeah, I know. No, I couldn't find any shrines. Only you could speak English. And a train went by. Will the excitement of this video never end? I know. I'm down. Would you? Okay. Uh, my Siamese cat came in to do co-commentary with me. And that train is the just my... What do you want? Look, you you act weird when you're in heat. Hey, what's up? Everything's chill, right? I can't do anything. I, I don't know what you want from me. Look, it wasn't supposed to go like this. What's up? I'm sorry, this must be the most exciting fucking thing ever. Here he went talks to his cat. Okay, so I keep hitting that by mistake. Haunt is that? Guess I'm gonna try and go this way. Treasure! Oh, I need to pull it out of the water. I'll take you.
What we got? Ooh, nice. Also, I really like how they're handling fishing in this game. How they how they handle fishing in this game. Please don't climb on stuff. Tom and I didn't do anything to you. Sleep me. I could go for that tower. Oh, is not the location I already decided I was going to go to? I must break that rock because there's stuff inside I guess my only problem with the game, and maybe this won't be an issue when I eventually play the Switch version, when I decide to buy a Switch. Um, sometimes it's kind of hard to notice on the field where the items are. Because not all of them shine. So I know for a fact that I've missed stuff. I don't know who, you, who you're meowing at. Because it's not a, hey, fuck face, pet me meow. Also, this game, super fucking relaxing. What, what are you doing? Dive bomb! Hey, friend, you look like a tough boy. How tough are you tough to challenge me to a race? I forgot what the run button was. Help me. This is like this happened last time. And Slate 2. I raced a turtle. God, he's 
you know, he's, you're persistent. What the fuck? Yes, it does. Please keep me at the top of the mountain. I hate you so very much. I've had enough. What are you, the running man's cousin? You wanna run, bro? I'm free this weekend. Oh, um, if this video has a tiny bit of interlacing or a little bit more than you might normally see, uh, it's because I'm not running it on 1020p. I'm running it at 1080i because I can't run it at 1080p because my computer isn't good enough to use my capture device uh, that I bought. That I was able to get thanks to Patreon. Thank you, Patreon. I'm going to thank you in this video. And it's, it's going to be amazing. But, um... Yeah, since I couldn't make use of the newer capture device, I, I just thought I'd go for as high a quality as I could. Uh, which I haven't really tried out. Um... 1080i with recording uh, except for maybe a couple of tests where I just wanted to see if uh, it interlaced and I remember not I remember it being not too bad but where the fuck is that rock uh, anyways uh, not too bad but uh I'd be better off with 10 EP. Are you the rock? Well, let's keep going back this way. Actually, let's... Let's take a nice uh, parasol. Par not a pair. I'm a fucking idiot. I gotta stop recording shit this late at night. At least unscripted shit. Oh, another diamond, nice. I haven't gotten to a part of the game where I use that stuff, but I've been told to try and hold on to it as much as I want to sell it for rupees on the black market.
this insulate may go on a bit longer than the Mario 64 one. Just because of how much I'm... I mean, I haven't played this in a few days, so I'm... I'm theming for some wandering around and looking for stuff. Also, I think I already have four, or I'm close to having four spirit orbs to upgrade either my health or my uh, stamina, which I'm going to go for stamina again, second time in a row. Anything here? No? Hello. <laughs> if he was calling for help, by all means. I really should have bought an arrows. Damn it. At least I can pick them up. Wait, is that the place that's... No. No, it's not. Come on. There's a windmill, so it could be a town. That'll be the next dungeon I try to take on. The game thought it was very ominous. Got those. Shh. Shut up. A uh, little frame drops like that are as bad as it really gets for the Wii U version. The way I've been trying to look at it is this version doesn't look bad by any means it just doesn't look as good as the version that came out for the brand new console which makes sense if you have sense um, but that's just gonna make me appreciate that new consoling is that new that this that switch version of the game that much more what the gravity fucked up for a bit I'm sorry about that Now I thought I heard some idiots scream. Yeah, I can see the uh, the interlacing.
How strong is this? Not very. Okay. Will you give me an item? I forgot her to surf. But they randomly taught it to me one time and I was like, okay. That's kind of cool. Obviously, Nintendo was ripping off SSX when they made this game. It's these guys I'm not really sure about. There are these four dragons. Well, now there's only three because I killed one of them. But, um... There are four dragons that are just flying around four areas in Hyrule. And I don't really know what purpose they serve. And unless they're story related for later on. Oh, which one? No. Hey. Whistleblower. Wasn't me. I didn't do anything. Yeah, he's gonna do fine. <laughs> we can rebuild him. We can make him stronger. Faster. But you you gotta come down, man. Also, one of the best things about uh, Breath of the Wild is the open world jank. Which uh, Zelda fans should be unfamiliar with because you generally have never had to deal with it. Um, especially because Nintendo optimizes the fuck out of this stuff. Can I cut down a tree by throwing an axe at it? No. Oh, that that makes me a little sad actually. Damn it! There's more of you here!
Okay. What do we got? Wood. Take that. You. And there's the tower. Pot lid. It may be kind of early to uh, make this call, but I think Breath of the Wild is in the running for game of the year. What the? When I get this thing. It's gone now. I mean, God knows how many perfect scores this thing got. Now for the uh, every ever so exciting climb up a thing. Oh, this is this is just such a wonderful game. It's relaxing. Like, I lost two of my weapons, but it's cool because like I got the wrong menu and you know I got the great flame blade. Savage axe. I got this fucking ancient battle axe. Knight's Claymore. Did I equip a different weapon by accident? Yes, I did. Sorry about the squeaky chair. I often like to stick my head through things when I'm cold. I'm hoping though from up here I can get a good survey of the area and then I can glide in on a shrine. Anytime now. There we go. Ah, okay. Yay! Ah, uh, and I, li I like this little section too. It's a little Assassin's Creed esque, where, uh, like, uh, look, suddenly you can see everything. And even the fact that you're high up on a tower reminds me of that. But it's it's really cool. Um, I also like how 
they're using a sound effects different as opposed to other Zelda games. Um, with their roles serving different different purposes in some regard. Holy shit, that's a lot of... Oh, God. This game is large. Fucked up. Oh, this is where I am. Why was that? Okay. Never mind. Yeah, let's go. Anything from up here? Oh. We have a reading. Down here. Oh, right there. Think. Uh, if I may be so bold as to ask another question of you all, um, assuming you're not just lying to me when you say you like this segment, um, Uh, I lost my train of thought. I keep, I keep, my brain just keeps going back to, but why? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. But, oh wait, shit, oh wait, shit, oh wait, shit. Well.
gotta be around here somewhere. And there's my Master Sword. Now, I think the Master Sword is probably the only weapon in the game that will never disappear forever. It'll just run out of energy, and then it'll lie dormant for a while. And then it'll just return to you. Which is cool. That's gonna bug me. somewhere else. Let's go this way. I heard this way is nice. Maybe I need some upgraded version of one of my tools in order to use that. That's my guess. Okay, let's go this way. This is pretty bit pretty this has pretty much been how I've been playing this entire game. Ooh, look, let's go this way. Pain of evil.
Who the hell knocked that off? I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be here. Yeah. <laughs> I was hiding in ice. Here, take this seed. Come back. Christ. Still scouting for shrines. And ominous noises. How's it going? So right here, during combat, this is as bad as the frame rate is going to get. Um, and it's usually, you know, for the most, for the most part, only when you're attacking enemies. Oh, we have shrine alert. Oh god. Where did you go, Brian? We 
least you're fair. No, come back. I hate you both. Oh no. Uh, when the blood moon rises, enemies will respawn. It's kind of irritating, but what are you gonna do? Sapphire. Wait, what's this over here? Okay. Now I just need to find that signal again. Another thing I like about this game, oddly enough, is the absence of music for, just for the sake of having music. Like, a lot of games will have music in an area because, oh, because of course this area is, should have some kind of background music. Uh, but in this game, you only get, really get music during certain situations, like tense moments or, you know, bad happenings.
Where the hell did I pick up the signal? No, no. Ah. Take that. Anything? <laughs> Wait, don't go. Ooh, nice. Damn it. I hate you. More, perhaps. Oh, treasure. Five ice arrows, yay. <laughs> Sorry. For you. <laughs> if at any point during this video I rambled and then it didn't sound correct or I lost focus and started rambling about something else. I'm sorry, it's it's really late when I'm recording this. I'm kind of doing this on a whim. Because when I'm sick, I get bored. So maybe after this I'll play some Persona 5 and cheer myself up.
Where art thou? Was too weak. Here we are. What's this guy over here doing though? First I want to activate this as a warp point. Kind of hoping it's just one of those battle challenges. Why didn't I complete the sh the shrine here? Okay, and I, I can actually get an upgrade already. I imagine loading times are a bit better on the Switch, but they're not that bad on the Wii U, all things considered. Okay. No dancing. Nice. Sadly, no. I also really, really like that teleport effect. There, are, There's a lot of things to like about Breath of the Wild. So much, in fact, that I, I can't find myself uh, to be able to be as much of a sarcastic prick while playing it. Just because it's generally speaking a relaxing experience. Although that could all end if this is something that involves me picking up the Wii U pad. 
tilt it around and make this ball roll into this thing and then bounce off this thing, land into this other thing, and you get the thing. What do we got? Uh, I think I get it. I do like these little puzzles, though. Come on. You're mine now. Oh, nice. Wait a second.
Let's see. Well, I have a dumb idea. That wasn't it. Don't know for sure if this is going to work or not, but it's the first solution that popped in my head. Did you just... Okay, I get it. If that doesn't work, I have my trump card strategy. Wait, what? Are, uh, I did it in the wrong location. Okay, so... My new understanding of this is correct. Yeah, no. That was the right mindset, though. It's 
stop it, please. They're fun puzzles. They make you think outside the box a little bit. I like them. Let's head back to Kakariko Village, um, upgrade my stamina, and also thank a bunch of people where the hell is my browser. It's a badass sword. And, I mean, I look like a weenie, but... We her general. Now, the loading time has got to be better in the Wii U version. Not to say they're terrible. On, I mean, not the Wii U, the Switch. That's not to say they're awful on the Wii U. I'm sure something beats it out. Okay, one second. Uh, but, hey everyone, welcome back to Enslay. You just watched Enslay. It's a video series. And, uh, you know, I have a lot of things on Enslate that I'd like to do. Uh, of course, I have to change some things around now because YouTube changed the way, or they're changing the way that they do things because that's just how it works. And no one's ever happy about it, but we can't do anything about it. So, anyways, welcome back to Enslate. Uh, you know. From the end slate. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you about stuff, and like I said, I had to move some stuff around. Uh, the first thing I'd like to talk about is the last video I did on this channel, which you'll see mid-screen playing. Um, you won't be able to click on that video yet, although like 20-ish seconds before this video ends, you will be able to click on it because I'll be able to add a card to it. But I can't use annotations anymore. So uh, there's that. Uh, if you would, if you would like to check out the gaming mysteries on uh, Mario Takes America for the CDI, uh, you are free to do so. Uh, it's also you can also find it on my channel if you want, but YouTube doesn't want that. Um. Next is social media. Uh, I have a Twitter and 
I like I, I like using Twitter as much as I hate Twitter. Um, I have a Facebook, a Twitch. Um, those those stuff are all uh, linked in the description. Um, I also have a Patreon, and it's because of those Patreon people that I'm able to do videos on a more regular basis, whereas before, you know, we, it, we'd be lucky if we saw, like, one thing out of me a month or something like that. Um, so, thank you, everyone, to, from the bottom of my heart for helping on there. And, of course, we can't forget about Nico, who also has social media. Social media. You know, Nico, he does the art. Don't know if I ever told you you, uh, you all this. But uh, Nico, he does the fuck out of that art. So if you ever want some art, maybe you should talk to Nico. His Twitter is in the description of this video. With a bunch of other links. No, I, I want them all. Thank you. Fire. Damn it. Hey. Yeah, whatever. I went to the wrong place. Damn it. Anyways. But uh, since I'm so thankfully thankful to Patreons, I feel the only way I can properly express this thankitude is to thank you verbally. And so from, from the bottom of my heart, and with no script in hand, I want to thank you, Christopher Ubin, Ben Shaw, Darth Penguin, Nikki Batelli, Lost my spot because I accidentally scrolled the thing. Harley Crawley. Le oh, wait. Leab547. Brian. He He Ho Grace. Brendan Wilbanks. JJ Rutan. Shulks Monado. Where's my mouse? There it is. Abdul Kareem Torres. Nikki Layman. Sally from Three Ice Cube Show. D Man's Land. Jacob Sifford, Ryan Macklin, Tio Centore. I'm just going to do this without looking. Oh. No, I won't die. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, Ryan Macklin, Tio Centore, Boltron, Skyward Keyblade, Joseph Constantine, Nolan, Christina Coleman, Doc Drazen, Andrew Arana, Aaron Brewington, David Friesley, Fernando Silva. F f <laughs> I'm sorry. Fernando, uh, this, uh, this is actually not too bad considering how sleepy I am. Fernando Silva, Rodrigo Derez, Beautiful Yoshi, Nat, Paul Walker, who walks the Pauls as no one does. Where the hell am I? <laughs> I'm lost. Did I, pa did I pass the shop? Yeah, I'm at the start of the village. Oops. A anyways. Uh, where was uh, Seth Heen, Stabola, Mitchell Shore, The Wheels in the Bus Go Die, 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 Erlen Mattis Rees, Wade Tomorrow, A.O. Breezy, Richard Lehiff, Greg Wolf, Vicious Phantom, Mr. Bowler, Robert, Brandon McKinnon, Mitchell Janda, Sergio, Diego Martinez, Carn. Wait. Carz. Carzen. I'm too far away from my monitor. I'm sorry. M Gamers, uh, Mio Kuroshima, J Steria, Matt Jonas, Rory O'Carroll, Kenpachi Ramasama, Lon Lon Rancher 86. This video was sponsored by Ron, Lon Lon Rancher 86. Go to Lon Lon Rancher. Meet Luigi and Mario. Um, Anthony Mang, Squiggly Hip, Crow Feathers, uh, 1, 2, 3, Fat D. Fat D always hanging around. 
always getting into these shenanigans and end slay. It's, it's, I, it's, I love, it's great. Kelsey Lowensbury, Eric Camacho, Jonathan Klaus, Nemesis, Joseph Hitsky, Ryan Cole, Jacob Epler, Fantastic Hair Man, Desu, hello, River Casey, and Joel Guzman, and of course, thank you everyone else as well. Uh, thank you all for watching my videos and liking them and subscribing them and sharing, subscribing to my videos. Fucking dumb. Uh, subscribing to my channel, to which YouTube won't send out. So I don't think they'll send out the videos unless you click the stupid bell, because I don't know why. But uh, thank you. All right, bird egg. Oops. Shit. Got no. Let me live. Yeah, well, I haven't actually done that. <laughs> Man, they get all pissed. Uh but yeah, thank you. Um, you're what is able to allow me to continue doing this. Uh, not only more often than I was before, but uh, potentially for a long time to come. Assuming anyone wants to watch that stuff. Uh, that said, this has been Enslate on Enslate. Next time on Enslate, I don't even want to think about what could happen. I vanish out of the thoughts. Uh, but I love you all, and I will see you next time on Enslate or Enslate, not to be confused with, of course, Enslate. Bye-byes.